SpaceX's spaceship will be your home away from home as you travel to Mars. Look up, way up. What stands before you is the SpaceX spaceship. It will one day transport you to a new life on Mars and back if you get homesick for Earth. Starship will be launched into the stratosphere via a reusable rocket booster, which will detach in orbit. We know Starship will feature different configurations based on the mission. For this video, we'll focus on what the crew version will look like. Your journey to Mars will take seven months, and inside Starship, there is plenty of room for you and your 99 travel companions. The interior of Starship will feature multiple passenger levels, a storage area, a crew deck, and an activities area. Let's take a look. After ascending to the top of the launch tower via elevator and walking across the access arm, you will enter the highest level of Starship. This top level serves as both the crew deck and viewing gallery. Don't sit down just yet. The 20 seats that surround the room in circular fashion are reserved for the launch team and science officers. The seats are identical to the ones found in the SpaceX Dragon 2 spacecraft. When they're not in use, the seats fold into the floor and the room transforms into a viewing gallery. Now look towards the walls. Those giant panels are opening to reveal a massive panoramic window. Everywhere you look, you see nothing but space. Elon Musk has spared no expense to offer you these views. Starship has an $8 billion price tag and each launch costs $2 million. Let's open the hatch in the center of the floor and descend to the next level below. This is the multi-purpose activity area. This is where you come to fight off boredom during your seven month journey. This room has giant windows too, and they're actually stronger than steel. So you have no need to worry about floating off into space if you lose control of your basketball during your zero G game of hoops. On one side of the room, you'll see retractable seats that fold neatly into the wall, much like the ones in a high school gymnasium. However, these seats are far more luxurious and feature straps to keep you in place. This activity area is where you'll be able to catch a zero-g concert. Is there anything classier than a world-class violinist playing Chopin while elegantly floating in the air amidst the backdrop of space? Let's open the hatch and descend to the next level. This is the first-class sleeping area. The cabins are stacked too high in groups of four. There are five groups total, which means 20 passengers can fit comfortably on this level. These cabins probably remind you of the rooms in a Japanese capsule hotel, but they are much more expensive. A regular ticket on Starship costs $200,000, but these first-class cabins cost $1 million. Each room comes with its own tiny window. You can count the stars as you drift off to sleep. Let's open the hatch and descend to the next level below. This is the mess hall where you'll get your daily calories. Now you get to experience eating in zero G. The utensils and trays all connect to the tables via magnets so they won't float away. Your meals will consist of thermostabilized food, like cans of tuna that have been heat processed to destroy deleterious microorganisms and enzymes. You can also munch on intermediate moisture foods, like dried fruit. To prepare you for your new life on Mars, you'll also be fed insects, artificial eggs, and algae. Yummy. These foods will be commonplace on SpaceX colonies on Mars. Automated insects farms and cellular agriculture will play an important role in Mars colonization, as the regolith that makes up the surface of Mars is not suitable for plant growth. Let's open the hatch and head down to the next level. This level contains the bathrooms, showers, and exercise equipment. The elliptical bikes are mounted to the wall rather than the floor to make pedaling easier in zero-g. The showers are tube-like with restraints at your ankles to keep you in place. A pressurized portable bottle of water connects to the ceiling and the water then flows through a connected hose and shower head. Now you can put on the liquid soap. There are no drains, of course. You'll have to suction up the suds using a collection bin as wayward water could pose a hazard to the expensive equipment on board. Starship has vacuum toilets that come with a urine collection hose and waste locker. Let's move down to the next level. This is the passenger area. It's made up of three levels with 20 seats set up in circular fashion on each level. This is where you'll sleep and spend most of your time during your journey. It may look cramped, but the seats are quite comfortable. There's a partition between each seat for privacy, and the seats have three configurations, launch mode, boarding mode, and sleeping mode. Let's move to the last level. The storage area is the lowest level on Starship. That huge door is actually a plank that can lower Mars rover vehicles onto the surface of the red planet. These rovers look quite similar to Cybertrucks. The only things you'll find below this level are three sea level optimized Raptor engines, three vacuum optimized Raptor engines, and the super heavy rocket booster. The cargo area on Starship can carry up to 100 tons of supplies. So which space vehicle should we showcase next? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.